Snohomish County, where the Puget Sound meets the North Cascades, where small town hospitality meets world-class industry and business owners are your neighbors. We work hard and we thrive when we work together. This is the time to show your support. Shop Snowco for the family-run businesses. Shop Snowco for the cafes and farms. And for everyone who keeps our families safe. Because every dollar you spend in Snowco makes Snowco stronger. Visit supportsnowco.com to learn more. Well, winter is here. The weather is chilly. But the deals are hotter than ever during Aquaquip's Heat Up the Holidays sales event. Nothing feels better than sinking into the relaxing warmth of a jacuzzi hot tub after an icy day in the cold weather. Save up to $2,500 on the hot tub of your dreams. Sign up for a virtual presentation this weekend on our best-selling tubs in stock now. Visit Aquaquip.com and give the gift of hydrotherapy this holiday season. Aquaquip your life. Fortunately, no magic for Seattle like we saw at Lumen Field on Monday night as we welcome you to Sounders FC Match Day. Alongside Sounders analyst and Seattle U men's soccer coach Pete Fewing, I'm Aaron Levine. We'll have reaction from Coach Brian Schmetzer and the players coming up. But Pete, what happened tonight? I mean, so much momentum after the Western Conference Final. It felt like a flat effort, especially early on tonight. Yeah, I think flat's a good way to describe it, Aaron. I all of us, you know, they come out to start the game. They're not going forward. They're a little casual on the ball. No balls over the top for Jordan Morris. They weren't stretching the defense. I just think they were, they were not sharp. You know, it's the first road game for in a while for Seattle, and I, I just think that they had a hard time getting going. And then you got a team that's just lost two key players, right, and uh, Nagby and Santos. And so they come out with a young kid, a 19-year-old named Morris, and they just took it to Seattle. You got to give yeah. them credit. You got to give uh, Columbus credit for they dictated the play in the first half. Se Seattle was better in the second half. It was 2-0 at halftime. Nice to see the Sounders get a little bit of momentum in the second half, but it was a little too late. Columbus outshot the Sounders 8-2. to two. In yeah. the first half. What did you see on those first two goals? Well, they were terrific goals. The first one, the cross from Awful, was should have been.